What's up, Switch Gang Nation? It's your boy Marlon, back at it again with another massive news video for you guys and girls today. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. And we're starting off here with a bit of a rant regarding the PlayStation Classic Edition here that comes out on December 3rd. So Sony just released all the games that are going to be coming with this PlayStation Classic Edition, and they're very underwhelming. I'm not happy with it, and I'm definitely not picking it up. I'm a huge PlayStation fan, and come on, there's a lot of critical games that are missing here and so to start it off we have battle arena Tashiden. if i'm saying that correctly we also have cool borders 2 destruction derby final fantasy 7 grand theft auto intelligent cube jumping flash metal gear mr driller odd world abe's odyssey rayman resident evil director's cut revelations persona ridge racer 4 super puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, and Wild Arms. Wow, not enough RPG, and not enough racing games, and not enough adventure games. Like, seriously, Sony? Where is Crash Bandicoot? Like, Crash Bandicoot is the breadwinner. Like, that's the Sony mascot. Like, where, where is Crash at all? There's no Crash Bandicoot here. There's no Resident Evil 2. Okay, not this Resident Evil Director's Cut. Like, seriously? They're missing out on a lot of classic games here. It's so many Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, Gran Turismo. There's a lot of titles here that are just just absolutely garbage in my opinion and hopefully sony realizes this and try to fix it mega man legends where's mega man ape escape where's ape escape you know there's so many different games here that i'm just going off the top of my head spyro where is spyro the dragon i grew up playing spyro come on sony like seriously, you want people to buy in to this PlayStation Classic Edition and you want to compete with Nintendo. Come on, you can't compete with Nintendo with these lousy games. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this. All right, guys, let's get to the next part of the news video here. So Bethesda say that the next Wolfenstein will be on the Nintendo Switch. So this is great news for Nintendo fans. We know Bethesda is showing the Switch a lot of love as far as, you know, first party development is concerned or whatnot. And this is real good news here. So hopefully, you know, we can get some more information on it. Possibly maybe the next E3, or maybe that's too soon, or maybe the E3 after that, we might get some information on it to see how it runs and how it plays. But that's really good that we're gonna be getting a, another Wolfenstein game on the Nintendo Switch because this past Wolfenstein game is incredible on Switch. They even updated it graphically, so it looks amazing. All right, guys, let's get to the ending part of the news video here. So apparently, Bethesda is saying that Fallout 76 on the Nintendo Switch wasn't doable. Duh! I mean, of course it wasn't doable. I mean, are you kidding me right now? That game is huge. You know, it leads me to believe if Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be even possible on Switch. I mean, in order for them to get Fallout 76 running on the Switch, they would have to, like, I guess, cut the world in half and dumb down on the graphics or something. But uh, Fallout 76 is really huge and of course it's going to be just online. The online part is not the problem, it's just the scale of the game. But we know that maybe in the future Nintendo might give us a much more powerful console which leads to better games and whatnot. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And alright guys, that ends off today's news video. If you enjoyed it, please smash a staggering 150 likes. Let me know you guys want more news videos like this moving forward. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here and peace switch gang nation we out of here